Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Going to be doing your love reading here for the month of April. This is a channel for Virgos only, so if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want to become a member, click the join button. You can get free paid re uh, free readings on Sunday. Um, also, there'll be some videos, so do check that out. All links to everything you need to know is in the description box below. Okay, please be mindful that these are general love readings. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What kind of drama? What's going on, Virgo? Okay, so let's see. We have paradise, kisses, and mirror. Okay, so... An energy of happiness, expansion and joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Interesting. You also have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting our wounds, introspection. Okay. Feels like a twin flame kind of thing going on here. And kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. All right. Hmm. This feels pretty straightforward. Some of you are going to be connecting with someone who, well, let's just say there's a mirroring, okay? A lot of love. Um, definitely, for those of you, could be somebody new coming in in April. I think we did cover some of that in one of the last readings that I did, that that energy might have been playing out for some. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's get into your reading and see what's going on here. What is playing out here for Virgo? Okay, end of a burden, coming to the end of a struggle, and finding complete happiness and joy. Wow, two tens in a row. Hmm. This is amazing. I feel like they're just telling me, I hear somebody saying, after I'm finished work, I'm, I'll be able to connect with you or we'll be able to make something happen here. We'll be able to connect with each other. I just have to finish some kind of work. I just have to finish something here. Let me see if I can get this to show up better for you. Okay. So there's definitely an energy. There could be marriage. There could be um, if a feeling of living in paradise here, coming to the end of a burden or a struggle. There we go. All right. Yeah. The winds have changed. Things are changing. Expect some, well, you know, April's a very, can be a very windy month, a very March and April season changes, seasonal changes happening, not just here in the physical, but in your love life happening here in April. Let's see. I, I'm feeling like in a, ref, a reflection. I feel like some of you, that there's a person I'm seeing in my mind's eye here that um, they're like a mirror image of you. Okay, let me see what's going on here. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. Yeah, a mirror image of you. Queen of Pentacles right there. You're going to meet, for some of you, if you haven't already met this person, there's a similarity between you and another person. Okay, there's an energy here of like two people who, um, there's something about when you look at each other um, or when you see each other. That there's or maybe somebody comments or has commented that maybe said something like wow you guys kind of look the same and there's a similarity in um the way uh your your smirks or the color of your eyes or just the way that you you kind of resemble each other if you haven't heard that from anybody i feel like um you you may be hearing that soon someone that you're connecting with or if you're like if you know people meeting each other or, or significant others meeting each other there's a comment i feel that gets made that says you know there's there's something about you and another person I, for some of you it's almost like uh, you two could be brother or sister um you have such like same color or maybe the same face structure or the same color eyes, the same hair, or even texture, uh, the same height. There's, there's a strong similarity between you and another person. 
and people are going to notice that or going to recognize that and if you hear that this is definitely a reading or if you've heard this from somebody or you've even said it to yourself or another person has said that about you and them um there's like wow there's it's like we're meant to be there's a feeling of we're meant to be all right let me just take a look let me get another card here okay oh wow hmm. so long-term security i feel like this energy is playing out and coming in for you what is this queen of pentacles oh my goodness see this just basically in a nutshell expresses exactly what i'm trying to tell you king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles exactly the same this is a twin definitely uh, there's some type of a twin energy it, it's like you get signs or you have gotten signs that you two have they're just very similar to each other that's that's like a huge sign um not a struggle this feels like two people who are just meant to meant to be in alignment with each other the king and the queen always match but when they're both pentacle energy it's like you are both the same and you're thinking uh, maybe very practical or the way you approach um analytical um both very career oriented or finance oriented um mm, both thinkers just and so i'm just giving you like character traits where there's a similarity here between the two of you um both resourceful both fertile domesticated kind of energy um very solid two people are very sil solid very wise wise with their investments and then their decisions wow Show me this wheel this wheel the wheel of the year this is definitely like it's this is a favorable situation here that's <clears throat> like i feel like somebody's getting lucky <laughs> this is like um a turning point happening here okay wow the ace of swords intellectual thoughts and ideas and plans <clears throat> I'm hearing nail on the head. Somebody's saying you hit the nail on the head with this one. You're hitting the nail on the head. On point. On point. Maybe somebody just said this is reading so far is on point. Um, this is what exactly I'm feeling right now with someone I'm connecting with or I've felt with somebody that I've been connecting with in the past. All right. Fascinating. I feel like that if there was some kind of struggle, this is somebody you knew before, there was some kind of struggle um, or there was a blockage where two people were not able to come together. Um, this is like coming to the end of that. So you might not even know this person, not know there was a blockage or you might have been in a position wondering like, well, when is this going to happen? When is my love life going to pick up? Well, it's because there was a, a heavy burden that was being released and if you haven't met that person yet this is why and this energy is coming in or if you haven't connected with your person this is why um both of you i feel there was a lot of stress maybe some exhaustion um a sense of like too weight of the world carrying the weight of the world okay sorry for that that i don't know if you heard that but oh, my video shut off because there was an emergency alert that came through um so i'll have to i'm piecing this together but anyway if you heard it my apologies if not we'll just proceed i don't really remember what i was saying but um, maybe it'll come back to me so let's see what else is going on here okay we've got the king of swords and the queen of cups the heck is this this is, this is somebody else's timeline Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. What is this? Hold on. I have got to channel this. Oh, this is your past energy. They're giving me your past energy. Okay. You were in a relationship in the past with someone. Um, not a good match. At the time, it wasn't a good match. There was abandonment. A lot of blocking. Um, somebody pushing back for all the wrong reasons. Weak boundaries. Stalling out. 
a quitting energy. I feel like this was how things were in the past with you and another person. Okay, it doesn't have to be this same person. For some of you, it could it could be the relationship is improving, but how it was in the past, not good. Um, and for others, this might have been somebody else. And now you've got a new thing happening here. But I will tell you what, whoever the past connection was, or if this was the, the past person, how things used to be, one person was very cold and calculating. Um, might have been even a little bit of a con artist. Sorry if the sneeze. Um, okay, might have been very um, rigid and um, dishonest, or maybe just not very kind, or someone who was um, maybe was uh, like. A bit abusive in some way and another person here was very over giving and nurturing and uh, leading uh, with love and very supportive and tolerant and empathetic um, I, I, do, I feel like somebody was rejecting um, love in the past was blocking leaving leaving someone out in the cold all the time having weak boundaries not able to you know move something forward um, Something's changing here. Something's shifting. Okay. There's a change. If this was a past relationship, let's see what else about this past thing. Okay. There might have been two other people or somebody might have found out somebody was having a same-sex relationship and didn't know about it. Um, there also might have been somebody here who was extremely bossy and kind of a bully. Um, anger might have played a role. Very aggressive and cold is what I'm feeling. Another person was just trying to seek opportunity and maybe manipulate a situation to gain what they wanted. Okay. Yeah. Um, somebody was trying to stay single while another person was trying to have more in this connection. Um, this was just basically a runner chaser situation in the past. There was a lot of um, the more someone chased after someone, the more the other person pulled away. So that energy just played out for quite some time. I'm definitely seeing that burden has shifted. There's a change. What is going on here? Why is this change happening? Because of that Wheel of Fortune, this feels like a major turning point. Let me see. Somebody's get high. Oh, that's what it is. The Ace of Swords. They gave me a light bulb image. A new idea. The Ace of Swords is like bing, aha. It's like an aha moment. Someone's having like a, a like a, a light bulb moment. If somebody feels like you are there. I just heard lucky star. <laughs> you are there. Um, you're their cha-ching. And I don't necessarily mean that financially or money, but it feels like somebody feels like you are their um, their lucky rabbit's egg. Like you, I don't know uh, how. It's like a sword came down and bonked somebody in the head. Like wake up, you dumbass. This is this is your person, or somebody comes to terms with and realizes they have this light bulb moment go off. Like they get hit. All of a sudden, I got a sneeze. I haven't sneezed all day. As soon as I start the reading, as soon as I start the reading, I have to sneeze. So. Okay, somebody now sees a future with you. Three of Wands. Oh my gosh. Somebody's seeing a future here with you. All right, so let me just say real quick. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini. Did I say them all? <laughs> Um, Cancer and Pisces. I guess we, t I, I think I said them all. Did I say them all? Pretty sure I did. Um, somebody sees you as a long term. They want you long term. They want you for life. Not going to let you go. Holding on tight. So I feel like this past energy here, there was a blocking and a lot of pushback. And uh, even if you still have somebody blocked, um, they're, if they're not able to get a hold of you, they're going to find a way. How are they going to get a hold of you? Okay, they're definitely going to try to figure that out. That's for sure. Moon. Oh yeah, they're going to think of a new, a new way to get a hold of you. Let me see here. Oh, 
Oh, through a friend. Yeah, they're going to contact you through a friend or have a friend reach out to you. Definitely. Uh, or uh, another person is what I'll say. I won't label who they are, how they, how they come, how who this person is. I'll just say through by proxy. They'll get a hold of you through another way, and it, or another person, place, or a thing. Um, so they're going to kind of go around about. Um, go uh, if they can't break through, they're going to go find a way around to get a hold of you, to get into your. Um, your vision field or your ear, your hearing field or your you know uh, so that they can be seen so that they can connect with you so they're going to go through for some of you through the kids um through an ex through a, a f another female to connect with you okay yep because they want to win when you're affectionate they, they got to talk to you i feel like they're having somebody's having like this wake up moment this bam this you know ugh, they just have to talk to you um, it's crazy because it's not coming in with something simple. I mean, this is like coming in with, hey, I'm ready. And, and, and not only am I ready, um, but I'm willing and I'm able now um, that I want to have something serious. And then I just had, for some of you, the past returns. So for some of you, this is a past connection um, showing up again in your life. For those of you that are, um, you know are happy about that congratulations <laughs> it's gonna turn real and for those of you um you know the past could return you don't have to take it but there is somebody new also um showing up here um maybe you work with this person or you've been working or you've been dating or talking to them and things haven't moved forward because they've been um bogged down with responsibilities and they've just been absolutely exhausted i feel like that's time's gonna free up their time is gonna free up Okay. Okay. Interesting. So you have some devil energy here playing out. And this definitely this greed is playing. There's someone here who's very obsessed with you or becomes very obsessed with you, not wanting to let go. Wow, there's past returns again. Okay. Virgo. Learning a new skill. Somebody here coming in is like all prepped and prepared and ready to apply what they've learned. Um, it's definitely going to give you a sense of like feeling like paradise and joy and um, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, time spent, unconditional love, affection, someone falling in love with you here, lots of kisses, you know, um, somebody's got regret, there's regret about the fact that maybe they just made you wait for some of you. There's also um, regret that they waited so long. Um, they are, you may talk to somebody here and, and they say to you, you know, I regret that I didn't meet you sooner. Um, I can't believe how much time has passed and I'm just only connecting with you now. You know, that kind of energy or I wish that I wish that I had met you sooner. I wouldn't have wasted so much time with other people. I wouldn't have because I feel like somebody here maybe wasted a lot of time um, with another person, a, a popular social female in reverse, is someone who is very egotistical and bratty and a spoiled brat that they might have connected with in the past that just really treated them horribly. Okay, someone who is very cold and manipulative. Okay, but justice has been served um, to that relationship, that whole thing. Um, the truth came out about how things were with somebody else that they were connecting with and that relationship just crashed to the ground okay um now you know the story plays out if you were involved with someone and they left you for someone else and that didn't work out now they're coming back um yeah okay joy is happy and free right but what do i always say i mean if somebody's coming back here because you know their relationship bottomed out that doesn't mean you should take them back right away. They, they really got to fix that, fix the whole situation with you. Um, for others, this is somebody who was really in a bad relationship in the past and they're free of that and now coming in and that light bulb moment, you know, they get that bonk in the head and this person comes in like really interested in um, moving things forward because there's something about the two of you that they see that looks very familiar to them. It's like when the, when the eyes are closed and the soul recognizes the soul. That's what I feel. This transition, this is it. The end to suffering is over here. Out with the old in with the new. Okay, the season in your life. Remember I was talking about the seasons in the beginning? Um, 
and it's interesting because I got that alert, that weather alert, and now I have a card here with the, um, the, the season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere and, and a new season. Allow it to happen. Go with the flow. Now it's time for change. So this energy is fantastic. Just let me get a couple of the cards to see what's going on here. All right, we're not taking all that. Just give me one more spirit, one more card. Tell us what El Virgo, what their energies are playing out here. This one, spying online. Somebody's watching you. Or they have been watching you. They see you somehow. They're watching your every move. They're listening, watching your videos. They're looking you up. They're just trying to get a peek at you, um, sussing you out. <laughs> watching, 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 Virgo. <clears throat> okay, let's get your Chinese signs so we could see. Who's playing out here? What are the Chinese signs here that Virgo needs to know? What are the Chinese signs here that Virgo needs to know? I'm just seeing, um, I'm seeing a red car right now. I'm either backing out of a driveway or pulling up or just, yeah. So if that's you, backing out of a driveway or pulling up or maybe in a red car. Okay, we have Year of the Horse. Let's see. Oh, you have a red car. Okay, year of the rat. All right, let's see. Oh, you want to give us anything? coming out. Year of the Dragon. Dragon always shows up. I swear the dragon is in every single reading. Okay. Year of the Horse again. So that's two horses. We're going to pull a couple here. Year of the Goat showing up here. We have an ox. Year of the Ox. Year of the Dog. All right. Dragon twice. Holy and the pig okay if your chinese sign did not show up don't worry about it doesn't mean it's not for you it's just there for someone who recognizes or falls and resonates with that for them to remember or recognize that the reading is for them all right let's take a look and see what your romance angels messages are here virgo don't forget you guys um, please do hit that subscribe button and also be a part of the Lovecast podcast live streams I'm going to be doing here Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so whatever time zone you're in, you'll have to figure that out. We're going to be talking about topics. You can join in on the chat. It's free. And I will be your host. Okay. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we were seeing that with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel, things start moving when the timing is right. Maybe they were stuck in the past or things were stuck before, just your love life in general very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This energy is playing out in April very, very soon. All right, let me see. We're going to mix up. Sorry. <laughs> so much loudness picking up my parts. It's ridiculous. All right. I'll just mix up some of the messages here. See what else Virgo needs to know. What does Virgo need to know? Go slow. Take time to get to know one another, Virgo. Okay, that's good. Also, you came closer than anyone has ever come before, Virgo. You made it. You're making... Excuse me, I always talk in the past tense and I don't mean to. You're making an impression on somebody here, big time. Um, no one has ever or will ever come as close as you will be with this to this person. Or they're recognizing this. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, gave you a couple cards here. Somebody here cannot stop thinking about you, Virgo. They wish they could take their words back. Hmm, okay. There's a bit of regret as well for something that they did or said in their life or to you. 
What else is Virgo need to know? Okay. They will wait for a sign from you, Virgo. Somebody's waiting for a sign from you. Hmm. Maybe if the door will be open. If you're trying to have or you want to repair or heal a relationship from the past, you want to give somebody another chance. Having your doors locked is not going to allow that to happen. Although they will find a way through. They could also, I just heard, if you're on social media, somebody could make a fake account and pretend that they're like the opposite sex or somebody you don't know. Pretend to be another person to try to spy or get a, a find you in some way. Okay, that's kind of deceptive. I mean, just only because they can't get in. So if you don't want to have that energy happening um, and you want to heal something and have somebody to come back into your life, then you have to leave the doors of communication cracked a bit. Okay, let me see. And if they don't find a way to get through, they'll find a way. Mm, what else does Virgo need to know here? Virgo sun, moon rising. Okay. Are we going to get any more cards? Oh, it's dark. Are we going to get any more cards for Virgo? I think that's it. I think they just want you to know. Okay, yeah. I'm not giving you anything else here. All right, let's take a look here and see. I feel like I'm blowing through this reading, but man, it was just so straightforward, you know? <clears throat> All right, let's take a oh, What's going on here? Oh, we got to fix this. Give me just one second. I see. Um, Okay, I'm seeing blue flowers right now. A bouquet of blue flowers made blue roses. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't really make it out. Blue flowers. Also, now they're giving me blue blue flowers with yellow, um, like on the inside. Blue flowers with yellow on the inside. I'm seeing black hiking or black work boots. See now, see they're starting to channel messages through to me right now. I just saw one of those um, make a wish. You know those little plants that you blow on to make a wish. Okay. And then I just saw a, a lobster. Give me an image of a lobster. What else coming through? Okay. They're giving me pea pods. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, and then a key ring. Just saw a key ring. Just a very basic key ring with like a little clip. Key ring with a clip. It's just sitting on a table. It doesn't have any keys attached to it. It's just a key ring with a clip. Uh, somebody's walking through a mall right now. Walking through a mall. Shopping. Walking through a mall listening maybe it's a okay now I'm seeing a store but like a supermarket shelves a store walk through a supermarket all right uh, now they're giving me an image of a uh, it's a uh, oh it's okay so I said route 66 <laughs> I guess it's like a really I don't know a really long road and I'm seeing mountains in the distance they're like gray or a dark gray mountains on oh these images are just f coming through a surfboard they're showing me somebody surfing okay by beach oh okay and now they're showing me like um, a Vietnamese hut I'm seeing a hut okay and now I'm seeing a sign in a city and the sign it says place. It's something place. I can't make it out. Uh, is it Artie's place? Art's place? Art, something place. It's like in a kind of a near a corner. Big cities, big cities, uh, building, city, place, something place. Okay, somebody's walking down a city street. That's what I, 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 I'm seeing here. Somebody's walking through a city street. 
Okay. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups here. Okay. And we also have, did was that yesterday? And we also have the Seven of Cups. So, wow. There's a decision or a choice. Somebody cannot make a decision between two people. I don't know if that's connected to this reading or not, but um, or there's two people here who are struggling. Who uh, there's a struggle of commitment or having too many. Um, it's it could. It's not necessarily commitment issues all the time. It's just having so many choices to make. Um, there's a water sign with the, their back to a, to an earth sign and an earth sign just sitting there focusing outward. Okay, I feel like the water sign is struggling to make some kind of a commitment or struggling to make a decision. I'm kind of living in fantasy land, but now their back is to that. And now they're looking not out into the horizon, but they're looking onto the shore. Um, somebody's waiting for you at a beach or near a beach. That's what I feel. Somebody's waiting for you at a beach. You're just at your desk working. Or you're sitting in a bank trying to get your money sorted out. Um, the reading is really strange today. It's not the usual that I do. So uh, I'm really channeling hard today. Well, I'm not channeling hard. I'm just being guided to channel messages that I don't usually channel. So I think we're just going with the flow here today. Um, something to do with... Uh, Okay, they're telling me, they're telling me there's something going on, um, April 17th, okay, if you're expecting to hear from someone on April 17th, I don't feel like you're going to hear from them on that day, or if you're hoping to, but you will hear from them after, so I feel like maybe seven days so maybe april 24th there might be some type of communication coming in from somebody or that week from the 17th to the 24th okay all right um so i'm picking up a silver vehicle someone drives a silver vehicle maybe you're driving it now or um, taking it to to get it repaired taking it to get it fixed okay and a waiting area I'm seeing a waiting area um, you're in a somebody's in a waiting area right now let's see what else wow okay we've got the Queen of Cups facing the opposite direction as well um, Virgo, right now you are very being very grounded, down to earth, practical, very focused on your work, but your emotions. Um, it's interesting. Whoever you are connected with has very deep emotions, but they don't wear them on their sleeve. You, you, I feel like your energy here in the divine feminine. You focus outward onto the ocean, where you're focused on all the water and the emotions here. Okay, feeling, feeling, feeling. And your person, they're on the same beach, but they're they're in in their emotions, in their feels, but they are focused very much on being grounded. So it's both the same, but um, their perspective is quite different. Okay, um, so so this person, I feel like you know they're in the water, but look, they're in safety. They're in a boat. Okay, they're, they're not exactly in the water. They're on stable ground, but they are very deep in their feels about you. Um, but looking towards the beach, they're more interested in what's going on in, um, not in fantasy world, but in reality. And I feel like you have your, your feet in the emotion. You have your toes dipped into the water, but you... Um, you don't want to be engulfed by the water, but you're so you're right on the edge. But you focus all, mostly all on the emotions. Yet you are quite grounded, and it's interesting because I feel like you both of you face each other, you see each other, but you you see things quite differently. Um, you know, coming from where you stand is how I feel. It's, it's, it's a very strange message. Um, and it also is showing me that when I put these two cards together, it's strange. It's like 
this person just heard okay because you you know you're represented here and I, that's just how I feel your person is for some of you on getting on a boat or will be coming in on a boat they're heading to the, your shores they're heading to your shores that's how I feel okay they're in their boat and they're landing they're coming in let me see if I can match it up there you go <laughs> This person's on their way and they're almost there to you. I have never, ever, ever had a reading, did a, did a reading like that before. It's so strange. That is so, so strange. Like I said, the way it's coming out here. All right, I'm going to get a couple more here and see what else um, I'm picking up for you, Virgo. So much water. So much water. Yep, somebody's coming in here with a big splashy cup of love for you. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. And of course, Virgo, you're going to be like, stop. Just hold it right there, buddy. <laughs> hold it right there. Just wait one second. Hold on. Wait, don't come too close. Slow it down. <laughs> it's like you want this, but yet at the same time you're afraid of it. Uh, that's what I feel like is happening here. You want it so much, and then it shows up at your door, and you're like, wait, oh, wait, uh, hmm, wait, was I really just wanting the fantasy? Was I really just enjoying the dreams of the what-ifs? Do I, you know, the old saying, be careful what you wish for, and it's what I feel like they're telling me here, be careful what you wish for, because you're going to get it. Okay. So, let me get into... what other messages we have here for you. I'm going to do some dice. A little rolling of the dice. Cards and dice. You would think I work in Vegas. All right. Here we go. We have the 28th. We have the 29th. We have a Sagittarius and we have a Libra. Um, 28, 29, 29, Sagittarius and Libra. All right. Let's see what else comes up. All right, we have a Taurus. We have 1979, 1969, and Libra is showing up here again. All right, All right. 1982. Um, Capricorn twice. Okay, somebody here is 45. And we also have somebody, yes, now I said that already. We have, wow. Okay, you guys, it's definitely a twin flame because the 1111 just showed up here. Oops. Let me show it to you. Do I got it right? I think you can see it. 1111. Okay. So maybe somebody's birthday is November 11th. We have the 1111. We have Leo. Taurus again. We have, okay. It could be February 12th. We also have the 2nd and the 12th and the 11th. All right, let's see what else. Okay, somebody, all right, so either born in 65, 64, um, somebody could be 54, 56. Libra again, we have Pisces. Um, and we have the number four, um, also nine. Okay, one more. All right, Sagittarius is here, Gemini. Uh, okay, here are your numbers, four, seven, nine, and 12. Okay, four, seven, nine, 12. We also have eight, we also have five. All right, that was fascinating. That was absolutely fascinating. I have no idea how much time has passed, so I'm just gonna upload your reading now and you will be able to chit chat among each other. I hope you enjoyed this tonight. And uh, yeah, don't forget to join in on Wednesday for the uh, Lovecast 
I'm going to be doing a podcast, hosting a podcast here on my channel, um, where you'll be able to, I'll have a topic we'll discuss, and then you guys will be able to chat with each other in the podcast, and then I'm going to keep the stream running until the next podcast, so you guys can continue talking. All right, you guys, I love you. I will see you all. Oh, don't forget, if you want to purchase any of my tarot decks, they're listed underneath this video below. Um, don't forget to check them out. All right, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye.